Hello everybody, this is Sebastian Furtado and welcome. Today I would like to talk about a perfume that um, I had a little bit of a hard time getting to know to. This is not one of the classics from Guerlain, but it is um, a beautiful Guerlain and I had a really hard time understanding it at first. And it took me a little bit of a time actually to come around and okay, I really like this. Today I'm talking about Bois d'Armenie from the La Matière collection and mine is still in the older bottle. I think I have more somewhere but I yeah this is um, Bois d'Armenie which means wood from Armenia so Armenian wood. Um, let me spray. hand okay it's a beautiful bottle now phased out this is very woody but to me because it has um, it has a lot of other things going on in here it's like it has some incense um it's quite resinous it's not the kind of dry wood type of perfume or type of smell but but rather it's wet and it's rich and it's resinous um, a lot of people say that it smells like armenian paper because apparently they have this paper in armenia that's drenched with something I don't remember exactly what it is and they burn that smell that paper like incense um, I've never come across that I should look into it actually but mm, uh, this is from 2006 if I'm not mistaken and the perfumer behind it is uh, Anique Menardo um, let me check the notes here on the Guerlain website yes Benzwin which is um, some resinous um, Yes, the Guerlain mentions Armenian paper, actually. So, um, this is from Guerlain's website. The insp description, inspired by the Armenian tradition of burning benzoin to form swirls of incense smoke. The Guerlain perfumer has reinterpreted the scent of Armenian paper, infusing it with warmly invigorating vanilla accents. But Dahmini blends tradition and warmth as incense and spices are combined with a benzoin absolute and set against a backdrop of white musks and balms. This is, it's, it's, it's very much it. I, I get that. I cannot say that I get the Armenian paper because I never smelled it, but the rest of the description, it's pretty much how I notice it. And this is the first time I read this, by the way. Um, but to me, this perfume has a very close relation to a place in my childhood and to a smell that at first I didn't like that's why I had a really hard time in the beginning of getting to know this perfume because to me this smells like okay my dad had had a farm and still has it I don't know I don't know much uh, about that but um, I had a really a farm in a state in Brazil called Pará it's in the north of Brazil and it's part of the Amazon but it's a different state and there was a river that that went through the the farm and there was a bunch of trees that um, fallen into the river and sometimes they would cut trees and um, just leave it soaking in the river for days and they would also do the same with cassava because in that region there's a lot of native uh, Brazilian native people and they use cassava a lot they produce cassava a lot to make all sorts of things and one of the processes of preparing the cassava to then get on with the process of grating it and then roasting it is soaking it in, in water so they they soak you see a lot of cassava soaking in the river for days and it ferments the cassava and 
also the the trees falling in the river they get soaking wet and it has this very distinct smell and the smell of the super wet drenched wood with the fermentation of the cassava smells very similar to this and at first when i smelled this perfume like no because it i it could like it brought me back to that place i remember playing in the river and um sitting on top of the of the the, the trees that are in the water and although it's a great memory i didn't quite enjoy the smell of the fermented cassava and and the tree so but yes but that was my first reaction today i can still get that connection but because i'm more familiar with the other notes that are in here such as benzoin especially and vanilla um i don't have that strong connection anymore but i can still detect that memory in here so right now that soaking wet tree is here still in the background that smell very specific i get especially in the opening but now it's um, the benzoin it's taking over the scene in this perfume and it's it's very warm and resinous and delicately sweetened by the vanilla it's not super sweet um, this is a stunning perfume um, because it, it manages to bring all these different um, aspects together in such a beautiful delicate yet super powerful way because it's not um, it's not super resinous it's not super woody it's not super it's not super anything they just created a be beautiful blend that goes it's just just really really well it just really works and this is the major change that I notice uh, on my skin. It's the, the 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 opening has this very strong woody, like wet wood, kind of feeling that I I perceive, and and then gradually it changes to more resinous, to being more resinous and sweet. Now I yeah, it's it hasn't really changed much from what I said. A few a few couple minutes ago which is the wet wood still here in the background which I don't know what is it exactly that gives the sense of wet wood um, I don't know what notes exactly in here I just read some from the gallon website but uh, so it's Benzwin and I don't know what else okay so sourced in Thailand and Indonesia Benzwin is one of the essential ingredients used in making Arme Armenian paper it occurs naturally in the form of a gum or resin and is har harvested from the benzoin that tree um, through making small incisions in its trunk. So it's a very sticky thing, uh, resin, um, but they don't really go much about other notes. Um, but this is like, this is pretty much what I detect mostly on my skin. Wood, benzoin, vanilla. Um, not a lot more. For Grantica says that it has incense, iris, pink pepper, gaik wood, coriander. I don't get gaik wood. Uh, copaiba. Copaiba is actually um, it's a Brazilian root. And this patchouli and white musk. I don't get all these other notes. It's, it's, Everything is really, really well blended. And I don't detect it's just like right now it's very soft and non musky it's not like maybe the musk is coming through here but it's veiled by all the other stronger notes such as penguin and and vanilla so the the way I detect musk here it's not as a note but rather as a feeling if that makes any sense <sighs> Yeah, I, I really, really enjoyed this perfume. And this is one of the things that I have mentioned before that because of my my history, you know, where I come from, uh, this is a very unique thing to me, my way to perceive this fragrance, 
which necessarily will not translate to other people that didn't have this kind of experience. Also, people that are familiar with Armenian paper might have a totally different perception than I. And it's all right, and it's all beautiful, because each person has its, its own story to tell. So I love that. So yeah, that was Bois d'Armini. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, thank you for your attention, for your company and your time. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, day, evening, night, wherever you are. And the world needs more beta lovers. Bye.